Okay, so let's look at the uh, second part of, I guess this is C, right? Uh, the volume at B is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, cubic meters, right? So let's go back and look, right? Uh, the volume at B, right? Okay, so at A, we know it's 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3, and at B, it's 2.3 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, right? Is that right? Does that even look right? It kind of looks not to proportion, but that's okay. Because if that were true, this would be just slightly less than twice as far from the from zero, but it's not. Let's not let's not argue with this, right? Um, and what they want to know is what is the what is the pressure at B? Okay. Well, this is 1.2 <laughs> 10 to the minus three, right? 2.3. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to notice that this is an isotherm, right? That the temperature is the same. So we can go uh, PV equals PV, right? And that's because, of course, PV equals NRT. N stays the same, R stays the same, and that's an isotherm, so the temperature stays the same. So this is one of those laws, like Boyle's Law, or I don't remember. I don't remember the name of it, but it's one of those ones we ought to know. Okay, so you know, um, for for part A, for A, you know a pressure and a volume, and for part B, you know the volume, so you can find the pressure.